Cortex has in, invested like $500 million in, in the local and surrounding community. Can you, can you speak more to um, how you plan to leverage that type of investment and, and why it's so important to you? Yeah. So we've invested to date, uh, now this is a cumulative investment since the 2002, um, about $500 million. And when I say we, it's not just Cortex, but you know, yes, we have brought some funds to the table, but that's um, you know, the leveraged financing uh, associated with the buildings that developers bring to the table. And all of that's within the Cortex district, the 187 acres of Cortex. But in the last two years alone, there's been another half a billion dollars, $500 million of investment in the surrounding neighborhoods, Forest Park Southeast, and the Central West End area. Now, I can't say that all that's directly attributable because of what we're doing in Cortex, but a lot of a lot of it is, and also with the investments that BJC is making in their campus renewal project, $1.5 billion investment over the next decade. So um, when private entrepreneurs on the real estate side look at that, they say, wow, this is a hot place to be. The jobs are here. There's, there's significant investment in the infrastructure, and then they make their investments, uh, private sector investments. So basically, we're looking at a billion dollars of development that, have, that has happened between Cortex in the last 24 months in the community, and I would expect there to be another uh, almost $2 billion more in the next decade. Great, great. Um, this morning you spoke um, to the MVS as our keynote. You did a wonderful job. I appreciate it. Appreciate One it. word that you used a lot was inclusion, um, and, and you um, described uh, several projects that are going on. Can you talk specifically about the Square One Boot Camp sure. that is um, graduating soon? Yeah. So uh, innovation, innovation is stronger with the more inclusion of all perspectives, and both cultural perspectives uh, as well as community perspectives because products are sold into the marketplace and the market is comprised of lots of different kinds of people with lots of different kinds of perspectives. And oftentimes the reason that a technology company fails is that it has fallen in love with its technology and is looking for a market as opposed to what problem does the market have that I can find a tech technology solution for? So it's a difference of ground up versus top down. So that comes from an inclusionary perspective of bringing lots of people to the table to figure out how do we solve problems. Um, it's also about growing the number of entrepreneurs. One of our limitations is that we need more serial entrepreneurs in the technology arena in St. Louis. All great hubs have a lot of serial entrepreneurs that start one company, exit, start another, exit, exit, so forth. Uh, so we have a program which we've now run, this is our fifth year, called the Square One Boot Camp. And uh, there are three technology sectors that we focus on, bioscience, IT, and consumer product slash manufacturing. Um, and we had 38 new entrepreneurs that started in September. Uh, next uh, Tuesday on the 8th of December they will be giving their final pitches. The top six that have been shortlisted for pitches will be giving uh, their six pitches and then prize money will be awarded. But I can tell you that all 38 uh, really have learned a great deal and will continue to advance their new companies. Uh, the exciting thing about that is that this year we had about 35 percent women uh, entrepreneurs that were part of that uh, class of 38. Uh, we had 13% uh, African American, 7% Hispanic, and about another uh, 16 or 17% um, uh, 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 Asian, East Asian, uh, and Middle East East uh, entrepreneurs. So again, a nice cross section, male, female, as well as uh, racial distribution. That's the strength, I think, of an innovation community. That's what the urban environment is all about. It's not about homogeneity. It's, it's, about, uh, you know, it's about that wonderful mashup of different people with different perspectives. That's what creates a strong innovation district. That's what we're trying to promote. Great. Dennis, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. And I look forward to seeing you do great things here in St. Louis. Thank you. Appreciate it. To learn more about MVF, visit mvfstl.org. MVF. Connect. Discover. Grow.